Warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session we are going to discuss about ISO 11137 which stands for Sterilization of Healthcare Products. We are going to discuss about the three parts of the standards and the process involved in sterilization. So let's begin our discussion. ISO 11137 is the international standard governing the sterilization of healthcare products using radiation. It's broken up into three sections that cover every aspect of radiation sterilization for medical device manufacturers. ISO 11137-1 Part 1 of the standard covers the requirements for developing, validating and controlling the radiation sterilization process. It covers guidelines for sterilization using the radionuclide Cobalt 60 and Cassium-137 which are the two commonly used isotopes that emit gamma radiation. ISO 11137-2 Part 2 of the standard provides information about the method manufacturers will use to determine the minimum necessary dose to achieve sterility. It also defines the method used to substantiate the use of 25 or 15 kg KGY for the sterilization dose. A kilogram is the unit used to measure the gamma rays that are emitted as the radionuclide decays. ISO 11137-3 Part 3 of the standard offers guidance for manufacturers to meet the requirements of Part 1 and that relate to dosimetry, the measurement of gamma ray doses and its role in developing, validating and controlling the sterilization process. So, how does gamma sterilization of medical devices work? Gamma irradiation is one of the more common methods of sterilizing medical devices. Gamma rays are simply a form of electromagnetic radiation like X-rays. The difference is that gamma rays deliver much higher energy and can penetrate materials like plastic to kill microorganisms on devices that have already been packaged. The sterilization process starts by placing the source of radiation in a radiation shielded room. Packaged medical devices are then brought in using a conveyance system and circulated around the source of radiation to expose all sides of the products to the gamma rays. In contrast to sterilization methods like ethylene oxide EO, gamma irradiation does not require strict humidity temperature or pressure controls. The gamma sterilization process also does not significantly increase the temperature of the products being treated making it ideal for sterilizing heat sensitive devices. One thing to note is that the future supply of the necessary isotopes is uncertain. The nucleotides decay over time and global supply of cobalt 60 is not currently meeting the rate of decay meaning the capacity of gamma irradiation facilities is limited. What is the process for gamma sterilization validation according to ISO 11137? The gamma sterilization validation process outlined in ISO 11137 is meant to ensure two critical outcomes. The first one is the desired sterilization assurance level SAL is met using a minimum dose of radiation. The most commonly specified SAL is 10 to 6 or one potentially unsterilized device per million. The second one is product functionality is not compromised by exceeding a maximum dose of radiation. A maximum dose must be established and not exceeded during gamma sterilization because gamma rays have the potential to break down the polymers that are used in many single use medical devices that require sterilization. ISO 11137-2 offers three related methods for stabilizing a radiation dose that meets both these requirements. The first two methods are similar to each other and involve determining the natural bio burden, the number of microorganisms on a product and verifying the appropriate dose via sterility testing. 
These methods are designed to be used with products that come in large batches and require at least 100 units of the product. The third method known as VD Max is used for products that are made in smaller batches when grouping hundreds of devices together is not feasible. Instead of determining the minimum dose required to reach SAL 10 to 6, this method tests a predetermined dose either 25 kgy or 15 kgy for products with a lower tolerance for gamma rays. Regardless of the method used, ISO 11137 states that manufacturers must also perform quarterly dose audits as part of ongoing processes validation. So we have now come to the conclusion of this session. We will be eagerly waiting for your questions, so please feel free to put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, special wishes from TNU Academy. Thank you.